I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Kakudash, the honors to the apostles of GMS of Great Millstone, Sadatesis Shalom, blessings to the elect. All right, now, um, is Israel equal to all nations? Or is all nations equal to Israel? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Yaiqua, his statue and his judgments unto Yasharala. He hath not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Okay. And that's, a, you know, that's one scripture that I got to prove that all nations on the earth, or I should say, and particularly the nation of Israel is not equal to all the other nations on the earth. And all nations are, are not equal to Israel. Okay? Because the Lord clearly said that he chose, all right? Well, he, sh he showed his word unto one particular people. All right? All the way from the beginning, the Lord uh, dealt with a, 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 a particular people. All right? And that, and that people is the nation of Israel. Okay? Who were the ones that were rescued out of Egypt? The Israelites. Who was the law and commandments shown and given to the Israelites? It wasn't given to the whole world. Because the whole world didn't come out of captivity out of Israel. I mean, out of Egypt. All right, It was the nation of Israel that came out of captivity out of uh, uh, the land of Mizraim. All right? Which is uh, so-called Egypt. Okay? And who was that? The people of Israel. The Israelites, okay. And as for his, all right, and he said he had not dealt so with any nation, all right. So the Lord is not dealing with any other nation, all right. The Lord didn't give His law, statutes, and commandments, and His holy begotten name, His holy name, unto all nations, all right. Because you know, uh, if if it were so, all these other nations, the whole world would have been uh, worshiping Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Why is it that you have Chinese worshiping Buddha? All right, uh, the uh, Indians worshiping some elephant god. All right, uh, the so-called Jews don't even believe in Yahweh Shai. So how can you be an Israelite if you don't believe in the Lord, uh, the Messiah? All right, which that's a a a, a flag right there. All right, and you got uh, Satanism. You got all types of gods. All right, how come the whole world's not worshiping Yahweh by Shimei Shai? All right, if uh, uh, if if all nations were created equal. All right. The law and the name were only given to the Israelites, but even that, all Israel is not even a, a worship in Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know the correct way, all right, or even trying to, I should say, all right, because uh, us as the Israelites, uh, you so-called uh, blacks, Latinos, and natives, all right. Which was uh, which are none but corporation names, labels put on you by your oppressor, the so-called white man. All right, a lot of you guys, uh, a lot of our people, you know, don't even know the most size name. All right, or they're not even trying to keep the law, statutes, commandments. All right, a lot of our people are wicked. You know that they love doing wickedness. You know, and that's why the Lord is uh, is is gonna uh, judge our people, man. All right, He's gonna judge this whole world. Okay. Now another scripture that I want to bring out is to, to prove that all nations, you know, are not equal, and the Lord don't care about all nations. All right, the Lord has favorites; He's the Most High. The Most High, Yahweh, can love what He wants and hate what He wants. No one can't say anything about it. Now, if you got a problem, you go to the Heavenly Father yourself. All right, and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is gonna deal with you the best way He knows how. All right. I don't know what that is because I don't speak for the Most High. The Most High speaks for himself, but I know the Most High, you know, is gonna pass. Uh, he, he's gonna uh, judge you the best way he know he knows how. Okay. Now this is the book of Isaiah, chapter forty, verse <clears throat> fifteen. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold. 
he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. All right, so right there off the front, the Lord said, all you other nations are as a drop of a bucket. And that's a diss, man. That's hatred. That's dislike. All right, that proves right there. That's another scripture that the Lord is not dealing with all nations and the Lord don't love all nations. All right, just because the Lord created you don't mean he got to love you. All right, like I said before, the Mosai has favorites. All right, he has a favorite people. He has a favorite land. He has a favorite river. He has a favorite animal. Okay, so why can't the Mosai have a favorite chosen people to himself? All right, so that whole doctrine of God loves everybody is bullshit. All right, the Lord, the scriptures say otherwise. All right, and you so called white people, well, the head elites, all right, you Edomites, you wicked Rothschilds and uh, Dupons, all right, you know this to be true. All right, you know your people are inferior to the Israelites. All right, you know that the nation of Israel is superior above all nations. All right. Reading on. Verse 16. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast are sufficient for burnt offerings. So, you know, no matter how much you nations try to, uh, uh, um, you know, try to uh, believe in the Most High or do, or, you know, or try to, uh, uh, you know, sacrifice, which the law of sacrifice is done away with. But let's just say if it was still around, no matter how much you would try to sacrifice burnt offerings to the Lord, the Lord is going to reject you. All right. Because the Lord is not dealing with your people. If you're not, if your if if uh your spirit wasn't created as an Israelite, then the Lord's not dealing with you. It's plain and simple, and it's easy. All right, why is this? It, that's not hard to understand. But a lot of people, you know, uh, particularly in you know in religion, all right, Christianity, they say that God loves everybody. You're blaspheming. All right, you're adding to the words of the Lord. And the Lord, what did the Lord say in the Book of Revelations? All right. He said, um, he said, for I testify, uh, let's see. Yeah. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 18, verse, uh, chapter 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him plagues that are written in this book. All right. So you're at for so for you uh, Christians or, or it doesn't even have to be Christians. You know, people who don't even believe in religion say that God loves everybody. You know, you're adding to the book. So guess what the Most High is going to do to you? He's going to add the plagues of this book unto you. All right. Verse 17. And here's the and here it is. Here's the kicker. All nations. Before him are as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. All right. So that, that right there shows that no nation is equal to the nation of Israel. The people of Israel, the people of Yasharala, the people of the God of the Bible, which is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You are not equal to us. All right. You're beneath us. All right. You are made to serve us. All right. All you nations. All right. You so-called white people. You so-called Chinese, you so-called Japanese, you so-called Africans, you so-called Hawaiians, you so-called Arabs. You are made to serve and to be under obedience under us. But since we went off, the Lord put our enemies over us. All right. And the top enemy, the enemy he put over us, which is you so-called white people. All right. Which uh, your true nationality is an Edomite, according to the Bible. All right. Your forefather is Esau. All right. And all you so-called white people and you other nations that are not Israel. All right. You're going right into slavery. All right. All you nations put the nation of Israel under slavery in different time periods. So guess what? The Lord, the Lord is not a man that he should forget as it is written. He who leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He who killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. So that right there is... is it's a cold cut. All right. All nations um, before him are as nothing. The most I don't give up. Two flying Fs about you nations. Okay. <clears throat> you can argue. You can cry. At the end of the day, you're not going to change the most size mind. 
All right, the Most High, uh, uh, he's the same as he as he's always been. He does not change. I, I, I roughly paraphrase. This is the book of uh, to close it out. This is the book of First Peter chapter two verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a chosen people. All right, that cho that shows you that the Most High has favorites. All right, He chose us to be His people. All right. And we're the only people that have the spirit of the Most High in us. All right. Why do you think you always see uh, Negroes uh, filling up these churches, man? Even though they worship in the wrong God, it shows you that, you know, uh, um, they have a spiritual connection towards the Most High. As well as the so-called Latinos and Native Americans. Okay. And you're all living in the same hood, man. Being oppressed by the same enemy. You're the same conqueror that conquered you. The so-called white man. All right. A royal priesthood. All right. We're royal people, man. All right. And look what uh, our people have become. Degenerates. All right. Low lives. Our women are hoes. Our men are niggas. All right. And holy nation. Unholy nation. It didn't say a holy world. All right. It said a holy nation. That's, that, that's singular, not plural. Okay. A peculiar people That's singular again <laughs> Alright As it is written We are the salt of the earth uh, I mean You are the salt of the earth You know You know that goes into uh, uh, You know um, You know uh, uh, The word as well You know um, <clears throat> um, So like yeah, That goes into the uh, You know You uh, know you know, you know in this word and then, uh, you know, you, you losing it, you know, um, trying to roughly paraphrase the scripture. Uh, you are the salt of the earth. Uh, if you know, if you guys look it up um, for you brothers that know it, you, you, um, you know, uh, the scripture. And I can't remember the actual scripture, but, you know, uh, and that also goes uh, with, um, you know, us having, you know, a uh, flavor, man. All right. That's why we're a peculiar people, man. All right. Because we have the laws, statutes and commandments of the Lord. All right. And we have his name. All right. And we move and, and act different compared to all you other nations. All right. Everything our people do, they excel higher than any other nation. All right. Because we're just that people. All right. We're that peculiar people that the Heavenly Father chose to be a royal priesthood unto himself. Okay. That you should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvel marvelous light. Okay? And that's that show that shows you that the nation of Israel, all right, which consists of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and Israel any any of our um any Israelites scattered throughout the whole of uh, four corners of the earth amongst the other nations, that the most high is only dealing with you. Alright. All right. So, you know, a, a lot of people like to say that, um, you know, all nation, everybody's created equal when that's not so. All right. And, you know, you're lying. All right. That's just you uh, uh, trying to uh, make the whole world love you. All right. That, that's you trying to get love from the world. All right. When this world don't like you, man. All right. As in this whole world hates you so-called black black people. Hispanic people, Native American people, they look at us like we're a, a pieces of shits, all right? And that's the truth, all right? And that's why you all going right into slavery, all right? Under us, in the near future, in the kingdom, all right? When America gets destroyed, all right? And when Yahweh by Shimei Shai, his temple, his kingdom gets established, all right? It's going to be order, all right? And you, and you nations are going to know that you're beneath us, all right? Because you're going to be serving slavery under us. All right, and that, and that shows you, all right, sir, when, when another nation serves slavery under, the, uh, under another nation, that shows you're under them, you're beneath them, all right? And that's exactly what we're going to do to you, all you nations, all right, in the kingdom, all right, in the new world to come, all right? But with that, you know, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem HaKakudash, the bonus to the apostles of GMS of Great Millstone, salutations and blessings, and shalom to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.